Good morning, everyone, and welcome to worship. My name is Meg McGuire, and I have the privilege of being the ministerial intern this year here at the First Unitarian Universalist Society of San Francisco. After this week of endings and beginnings, delight and relief, it is especially good to be together in this way, to reflect and renew, to imagine and look forward, and to pause in what grounds and sustains us. Whether you're a longtime member, this is your first time here, or anything in between, we're so glad you're here. I want to take a moment before we begin to appreciate the so many people who are instrumental in bringing this service together. From the team who manages the technology that supports this live stream, Jonathan Silk on AV and tech, Shuli Ong and Eric Shackelford who are running our cameras, Joe Chapeau who's monitoring our chat this morning, and Alex Dar hosting our Zoom coffee hour after the service that you are all most invited to join us for. Also, those instrumental in preparing and beautifying our space are Sexton, Thomas Brown, Judy Payne for the beautiful flowers, and the so many people who bring together the music. Our organist, Reiko Odelaine, who we just heard from, Mihua Steger on piano and soloist this morning, and our other soloists, Leandra Ram, Brielle Marina Nielsen, Ben Rudiak Gould and Asher Davidson, and Mark Sumner, of course, our choir director, who brings together these offerings. And this morning, I'm joined by our worship associate, Richard Davis Lowell, and our senior minister, Reverend Vanessa Rush Southern, who will be leading us in worship. Lastly, of course, thank you to all of you. And as we have each Sunday since March, we begin by lighting our blue candle in honor of you who may not be here in body, but whose presence and spirit we feel here with us nevertheless.
join me in the lighting of our chalice. We light this chalice for the light of truth, the warmth of love, and the fire of commitment. We light this symbol of our faith as we gather together. If this is your first time watching, we're so glad you're here. You can follow along in the order of service, which is available in the description of this video and on our website. It's also emailed to everyone who receives our newsletter. So if you don't receive our newsletter yet, you can sign up. You'll find the link to do that also in the description of this video on our website and in the order of service. Today, and just about every week after worship, we'll be hosting a Zoom coffee hour where you can connect more deeply with others in this community in small groups of three or four people. The link, again, is in the description of this video, um, and Joe Chapeau, toward the end of the service, will post it into our chat. So we hope you'll consider joining us. Also, in your order of service, you'll find an extensive list of opportunities to connect with others in this community, opportunities to learn and to practice and grow together. So invite you to read through in your order of service and to join any of these opportunities that are of interest to you. I'll point out just a few for today. Um, today, after worship, the humanists and non-theists will be hosting a discussion about scientific and technological solutions that can prevent future pandemics. They'll begin as usual at 1 p.m. in the Zoom link in your order of service. And this week, as usual, you're invited to join in the morning meditations hosted over Zoom or evening yoga on Wednesday nights, which are great opportunities to ground in practice with some guidance from experts who are members of this community. And the Aloha auction is almost here. As you may know, the auction raises much of the income that we depend on to support the works and ministries of this congregation. So it's even more important this year than ever. The online silent auction will begin on January 29th and continue through February 4th, excuse me. And the deadline for donations is coming up before that, of course, on January 26th. Don't forget, too, that the live auction will be on February 5th from 7 to 8 p.m. So to whet your appetite for the upcoming auction, here's a special video announcement. Oh, oh ha -ha. I think with my cornhole socks you gave me for Christmas, I'm going to get it. Let's right see, here. let's see. Oh! oh! Day when Biden and yeah, Kamala Harris. It's inaugural cornhole day. Red and blue Red together, and blue. having fun. Maybe we could come up with an auction item that we're calling cornhole with the clergy. Cocktails and cupcakes. And it's going to be here where I have been joining my neighbors for cocktail hour during COVID. And it's going to be available for you to come to as soon as COVID is over. It's like a celebration of post-lockdown joyousness. And the cool thing is, this is going to be one of the silent auction items. So that means that you can go online when the auction opens and you can bid, bid often and bid high because it's quite a chance to play cornhole with the clergy. And there are lots of great items and you have to bid that whole week, end of January to early February. But also register for the Friday, February 5th live auction, seven items and a fund to need, which you'll hear about. Fantastic night of offerings and a chance to raise money for the church. It's really important for us, especially now, to come together in all these different ways. So, so we can't wait to play with you at the auction. Yeah, we can't wait to play cornhole with you. I've heard you with us.